I gotta get to the bottom of this. I, what the fuck happened? I'm Zach TV. I gotta get the exclusive. Before anybody break it, I have to break it. I'm the best there is, the best there ever will be. Hello? Yo, please tell me. Yo, please say, is this Ramsey the Great? Hey, man, it's Ramsey the Great, Ramsey the Rat, Ramsey the Snitch, whatever you want to call him, man. Ramsey the Wealthy, man. Hey, man, say, man, what you want to call it, man? Ramsey, what the fuck happened between you and Chief Keith? What the fuck happened, bro? Man, basically, um, motherfucker. So let me just, I guess I'll start from the beginning. You know, um, I got, you know, unlike most of y'all motherfuckers, I got good credit. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I had 12000 in my bank account. Uncle Ro was getting evicted from his house. You know what I'm saying? So I allow him. Chief Keith manager, right? His ex manager, correct? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I allow him. You know what I'm saying? To uh, you know, use my credit along with his credit and my bank statements to get a house. You know what I'm saying? And I, and he was living in one of the rooms in the house, and I was living in one of the rooms in the house. That was cool with me because I just moved. To, if y'all if y'all know me, Ramsey, I just moved to Cali 11 months ago. So you know, I got my own. Crib. I got a crib now. That's cool. That's cool. I got a BMW. I'm I'm I'm, I'm chilling. But so that's just the basis of the story. So boom, I live. You know, um, Uncle Ro in Chicago right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Orange County. I come back. When I come back, Uncle Ro wife. Is packing my shit up, like my TV, my Xbox, my shoes. Like she packing my shit up, like in a box. Like so, I'm like, what the fuck is going on, nigga? I pay too much money for you to be. First of all, I don't even step in my room. Second of all, what, what, what are you doing? Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so I get to arguing with his wife. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I call Uncle Ro. Like you know, Uncle Ro used to be my manager, but you know what I'm saying. So I call Uncle Ro. I'm like, listen, your wife over here bugging you. You need to obviously she out the loop. You need to tell her what's going on. You know, tell her I pay. I pay a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? You don't ever come in my room like that. Boom. So the argument, once I spoke to Ro, he, he cleared it up with, with his wife. Everybody went back in their room. I'm, I go back in my room, smoke a blunt. I'm falling asleep. You know what I'm saying? I'm laying down on on, on my bed, facing the wall. You feel me? That's why only one side of my face is fucked up. If y'all really go back and look at the picture, one side of my face is fucked up. I'm sleeping. I'm literally sleeping in my bed. You know what I'm saying? Somebody... Come in my arm, come, boom, knock down the, you know, the, uh, what happened was he knocked on the door. Now, peep this. I worked with Sosa. Go look up Chief Keith Louis Bag. That's produced by Ramsey the Great. Okay. You feel me? So, when, when, when I hear a nigga knock at the door and say, oh, it's Sosa, you know what I'm saying? I ain't think nothing of it. You dig what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, cool. I open, I just open the door. So, boom, as soon as I open the door, boom, Chief Keith hit me, hit me, in, Chief Keith hit through the first punch, boom, hit me in my face, you feel me? After that, Tato rushed in, grabbed me by my hair, pushed me on the bed, and there's another nigga in a gray hoodie with a big-ass assault rifle-looking thing. Was it a Draco? Me. Was it a Draco? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't know, bro. I, I mean, it wasn't, not, it wasn't the one that Soulja Boy got. <laughs> it wasn't that one. Okay. It wasn't a minute. It wasn't that, but what, regardless of what it was, that bitch had a whole bunch of bullets in it. You feel what I'm saying? So they did what they did. They they ripped my hair out and all that gay ass shit, kicked me in my face, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So you said they, what, what's they said they, and they were screaming, "Oh, I, I see he was fucking with the ops too." You know, so it seemed like they was just re really waiting for a reason. Because as they kicking me and shit, they like, "Yeah, you was fucking with the ops." Woo wah wah wah. You know, screaming that shit. You know, so 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 you think that that because recently you was just in at, um L.A. You was in the studio, you was in the car with B and that black and King Yellow. Is that what they was referring to? That's what they was referring to, but. You know, it's weird because I done met all of them on, on so many different occasions, you know, and me being Ramsey the Great, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a GD, but I'm a prominent GD producer, if you get what I mean by that, you know what I'm saying? So I, I done made, I'm the, I done made King Louie, Billionaire Black, King Yellow, Lil J, um, everybody, Famous Dex, you know, I do all that side, be just, that's just because that's who I grew up around, you dig what I'm saying? I, 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 and then Kush Cowboys. Uh, rest in peace, my homie Chris Smokes. You know, that's who I grew up around, them, them people. So, you know, I mean, I don't think, I don't know. Because he, he, if he had a problem with me being me, like, he should, he would have said it six months ago when he met me. Because he knew who I was. The first thing he talked about was Costa Rica, the first, the billion, that black song. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they got millions of views that I produced. And he's like, oh, you the nigga that made Costa Rica when I first met him. And that made me feel uncomfortable because I knew that he don't like being that black, but it wasn't a problem. We still was in the studio just chilling like it wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying? So. And then you and Sosa chilling in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And he know who I am. He know who I am. He know I produced all the music that say, 
you know, I produce music that say, uh, smoking new ski and all. Uh, I didn't produce all type of crazy shit for that BG Duck and, and, and being that like that. don't mean I support it, but I just produced it. You understand? Cause I'm a producer. I do, yeah. I, I do my job. I do my job. You feel what I'm saying? So, 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 that, so t- t- tell me this, Ramsey, because early on a, on a gram, you said something about that somebody um, brought you the phone and, and Chief Keith was trying to tell you calm down early, right? Or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so look, Kelly, so, um, Kelly, but while we was arguing, you know what I'm saying, as we done arguing, you know, Ro told her to go back in her room, she bring out the phone, Chief Keith on the phone. You feel what I'm saying? He on a, he on a FaceTime and she just don't, she don't say nothing. She come bring the FaceTime to me, you know what I'm saying? And he on the FaceTime with me, and, 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 and he like, what's going on, bro? And I'm like, what you mean, what's going on? Shit, we, you know, it's a it's a household argument, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know why she called you. You don't got nothing to do with it. She packing my shit up, and she shouldn't have been packing it up. I don't know if she feel like she wrong or what, whatever it is, but I don't know why she called you, you feel me? So, and then boom, that was it. I, I didn't say nothing else to the man after that. Boom, so let's say about 20, 20 minutes go by, 25, I'm sitting in my bed about to go to sleep. That's when I get to knock at the door. You know what I'm saying? I open the door, and that's when that shit happened. So, is it safe to say, Kelly, um, Uncle Ro wife, let Sosa in the house to assault you? She did. She did. Uh, that's why the police confiscated her phone. The police, you know what I'm saying, did all of that. Yeah. She uh, she did. She orchestrated the whole thing. She, she, you know, she called them over. You know, he didn't even have my address. You know, he, he don't have my address to my house. He's never been there. So not, nor has Tato been to my house. Nor You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, um, you know, he... he he had to be given an address by uh, somebody, obviously. Okay, so, yeah. so you know, on Instagram, everybody saying, and it's the black community or white community, or whatever, everybody saying, oh, Ramsey, you're a rat, you're a snitch, you're a bitch. How do that make you feel, bro, that everybody is on your case because you ran to the police or whatever the case may be, bro? Um, well, it don't really make me feel no way because basically, like, niggas is on the outside looking in. You know, you t- you, they saying all this tough gangster shit, man. But if a nigga... With six million dollars come in your house and armed home invasion, armed robbery, and take your Rolex and your three thousand dollar ring and, and, and the money out of your pocket, and he got six million dollars, and you ain't gonna sue him, you retarded. You you retarded. Okay. Okay. You, you dumb. You dumb. You 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 stupid. You stupid. You just a stupid nigga then. You just a, you just a dumbass nigga. If, you, if that's what you doing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never. That's that's like uh, that's like getting beat up by Oprah Winfrey, <laughs> and not and like you did, yeah, like I don't. That's like getting a lottery ticket and then not cashing. It. Mm. Fuck is he talking about? A nigga, the nigga walked in my house plain face, plain face, bro, as plain face as hell, and, 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 and assaulted me like that and robbed me with his with him and Tato. You know what I'm saying? Tato plain face, him cheeky plain face. So if y'all that dumb, well shit. I guess I'm Ramsey the rat. I'm gonna be a wealthy ass rat. What they call wealthy rats? Mice? Or <laughs> what they call them? Mm. <laughs> Mickey, I'm gonna be Mickey Mouse, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? I don't get no fuck, nigga. I give zero fucks, nigga. It, what, how snitching is when you when it's hey, also if me and you do a crime like how when we did that today. You know if we did that and I and and and, 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 and I got caught and I and, and I told on you that's snitching. Now if you come in my house and rob me. And, 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 and put a gun in my face and do all this shit. And you ain't even doing it. Yeah. How, 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 how am I? Sni- how, how I'm snitching, Z? I don't have no street code. I ain't in the game. I don't. I don't do that. Okay. He, he keep got a street code. I don't. He don't want violating his street code. He talking to GDs, ain't Dex, all this other shit. So who violating street code? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. You said Dex. What, Chief Keith was talking to famous Dex. Man, yes. Oh, Shook wow. hands and everything on my birthday. So who who violating street code? That's a, pussy. Uh, some pussy shit. You know what I'm saying? So that like, so so I, I'm confused. Like on, on 420, you remember that, right? At my birthday, like he shook Dex's hand, like so, I, like and Dex is getting that, like he and 10K for my dick, he and um that billionaire black sock, like, that's FBG to the bone. So it's like, how you gonna say you smoking Sean Dale Tuga and that's Dex friend and you go shake his hand? Oh uh, wow! <laughs> so so you gotta practice what you preach, man. So which so it's funny how all these fans they choose which codes, the street codes you gotta live by, and which one you don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tell, 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 tell me this, Ramsey. Do you think um, Chief Key brought that <clears throat> Shadrack Savage mentality mentality to the hills of Hollywood, to Cali? No, nah, because 
it's real niggas out here. I don't think, I, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think, yeah, he a real nigga would came and fought me head up, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think that he brought that Chirac mentality. I mean, that's just him. So that is what it is. Everybody else from Chirac is getting, we get out here getting money. We out here living life. We not worried about nothing. We not even thinking about, we not thinking about nothing. We not thinking about trades. We not thinking about cracking trades. I'm not a bitch. But I'm just saying, we're not thinking about nothing that's going on in Chicago. Now, I don't know, you know, T.T. got a cult following because of the type of music that he makes. So, obviously, he got to uphold the image. He got to do ooh, wah, 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 wah. You know what I'm saying? So, what, I mean... What, I what do you he, mean about the music he makes? What Does his uh, mu music influence the city, you think, or what? Completely. I think that he completely destroyed the city, but he don't even practice what he preaching his music. Whoa. You understand? You know what I'm saying? I think he completely destroyed the city. You know what I'm saying? Making it cool. This whole war, this whole BDG war, is for nothing, man. It's for nothing. Because the niggas who making money off of it is sitting in the house in Hollywood Hills shaking hands with GDs, man. I'm trying to tell everybody out there, listen to me, man. Y'all fighting a fake war, man. Please listen to me. Y'all can call me a snitch, whatever, man. I just care about I care about my community. I care about the little black kids, man. I, I don't care about nothing else. I'm, you feel me? See, these little niggas killing each other over a fake beef. Over a fake beef, bro. Like, I, I, you know what I'm saying? And hug each other and pat decks on the stomach. Like, uh, this shit is fake, bro. And, <laughs> I know, and I know niggas that's dying over it, so I'm going to speak up. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Hey, I don't care. Ramsey, when he came over there, did, was you able to see, was he in the um, BMW i8? No, nah, it was a Nissan Quest. Well, it, it, it was, it was Nissan Quest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, so, 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 hold up, hold up. So you said, so, 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 hold up. So Sosa then pull up to your crib in the BMW i, I eight. Uh, that BMW i eight was given to him through a record deal from Leo Lior uh, Cone, whatever his last name is, and it was took him back as soon as he violated his contract. Folks, it's not. If you pull up to his house in Encino, Encino uh, Hills. California, you will see not a car in the driveway, but that ain't come from Ramsey the Great, you know. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, tell me this, Ramsey. When y'all when Sosa them came in the room or whatever, how many guys was it? What'd you say? How many guys was with Sosa? How many of them was it all together? Okay, come on. it was a dude downstairs with you, two or one, one. So one downstairs holding my homie. And, you know what I'm saying? Took my homie phone with the gun and, you know, roughed my homie up. And then another, and it was, how many? Five. No, 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 no. It was four because CQ plus three. Yeah. So it was technically five people came. SWAT team style. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Did you, did you, even though it was a lot of guys, did you attempt to defend yourself and fight back, swing? I did. That's why my, my hand right now is fractured. I can see y'all put a post it on my hand. My hand is fractured every day, you know, but five guys, it, 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 it it became futile. I start. I tried to fight back when I thought it was only Chief Key. Okay. You know. You know what I'm saying. Once I saw. Once I saw the the, the the extended clip, I'm like, man, let me just take this air. You know what I'm saying. Let me just take the take the air. You know. What? I wasn't going. <laughs> yeah. Before you know, I, I I wasn't even gonna play it, play play it like that. You know what I'm saying. So when you went to. The, fought, hmm? Well, I'm sorry to interrupt you. When you went to the doctor, yeah. what did they say was wrong with you? What was fractured? My nose is fractured. <sighs> Um, my orbital, whatever that is, that shit around your face, um, and then my hand, my hand is, uh, I sprung my hand. What did they do? Yeah, I looked it lumped up on IG. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. They kicked, that's, that's some kicking me. They was kicking me. Like, while I was laying down on bed, they was kicking me in my hand and shit. Did they have on Timberland Boots, ACGs, products? Yeah, you, jo you joking, B? No, 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 no joke. Because I'm saying, bro, what what to make them uh, another Chicago and what the fuck will make them go to, to that extent? You understand what I'm saying? If you say nah, you they wanted, they've been wanting to do that to me, bro. You got to understand, they've been wanting to do that to me, but they ain't have, I don't know. No they ain't had no reason. They wanted to do that to me for a long time. You could tell, man, because that's why they brought up that op shit. They wanted to do that to me, man, because me, you know, I ain't even touched Kelly. It wasn't even no argument like that. But you know what? Like I said, Kelly orchestrated it. She told, because the police confiscated her phone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she texted them. She texted them the address, but then she texted them, oh, uh, Something like, don't come. He's calmed down or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of you know what I'm saying. Wow, wow. There's a whole bunch of fuckery going on. You know, as we speaking, what? Let me look at my Instagram. I got what 59 new comments. <laughs> Lady, this, you know, and it's all motherfuckers saying all this crazy shit. Like I'm pussy. I'm pussy. I'm pussy. But 
What y'all would have wanted me to do as a black man? What y'all want me to do? What you, Zach? What you, what you, what, what, what you want me to do? What you would have said I, I, I should did? And in, 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 in my honest opinion, brother, you know, um, you know, as, as black people, we live by different laws. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't want you to put another man in a predicament of losing his career and, and, and take, being taken away from KK and his family. But at the same time, I don't want you to be injured in the situation. I feel you guys should have resolved this, you know, in a talking yeah. manner. Only way, only way I'm resolving it, I need a check. Okay. I need a check. Tell me he can hit me right now and we get a check before we before we go to court. Okay. We get, we, I need a check. I need a a, a a large check, a lump sum, nigga. How you much you? I, I don't give a. It ain't no, bro. See, that's the problem. That's why we always going That's why we always gonna be. Black people don't live by no other code than other people, bro. You shouldn't even say that out loud just to let my uh, little niggas hear that. That's the problem. So you, that's so you, you say I shouldn't say don't snitch. You like I shouldn't say that. No, I, I'm not saying that, bro. I'm not saying. Listen, bro. This. I'm not saying you go snitch on a nigga. What I am saying is that if a nigga come in your house and assault you and, and with an assault rifle and he it is worth millions of dollars, don't go back and try to shoot shoot him. Please get some money out of it. Be smart. Be a smart black man. Like it don't don't continue don't continue to cycle. It don't even make sense. There ain't no ain't no code of conduct. Fuck that shit. Code of conduct. I already told. If that's the case, code of con the nigga them niggas don't violate the code of conduct. So I don't, I don't understand. I, I'm lost with that. That, that that shit is destructive to our community, period. That whole mindset that you're saying right now is destructive to our community, period. But you don't sneak, you don't, you know, all that shit is goofy. Like, I, I, I don't, I, I'm not with that. And I'm not saying now, 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 I, I'm still an illegal ass nigga. Every day I wake up and do what I, what I gotta do to get my bread. But what I'm saying is, if a nigga, if a nigga come assault you and come look for you and come in your house, nigga, in your house, and they got money, and you don't go after them. You an idiot. You feel me? Hey, okay. If I could have, if I could have sued them, if I could have sued them without without having a police report, I woulda. Trust me, trust me, I woulda. But a nigga need a, a nigga need a police report, so I don't give a fuck, nigga. Okay, I'm gonna be laughing to the bank. I'm gonna be laughing. So Rams, yeah, if, if you guys carry this all the way out to civil court or whatever, and they say Rams, you gotta stand on the stand and testify, point him out. Would you point out Keith Cozart? Well, that's not gonna happen because. First of all, it's already it's a that's that's a, that's in a criminal case, bro. We talking about a civil case. Okay, you know okay, I mean? okay. You know, so so civil cases, you don't have to sit on a stand and testify. It's it's, it's more about you know the evidence. You it, it's not gonna I'm not gonna testify. It's not a criminal case. Okay, you know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's a civil case. So that is a difference. I'm not gonna get on a stand and testify. I, I were, they I don't have to testify. They have Kelly's phone. <laughs> and, and, oh, and what do you mean when you said he came? He should have left his GPS on or some shit. You were saying it made like oh well. I don't want to get into that. I don't want to get into that before before niggas catch catch. I, you know, I want to let my what I'm doing go through first. You know, I, I shouldn't have said that. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Okay, but but uh, you know, hey, if you do crimes, guys, turn your turn your location off, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Make make sure you turn your location off so so, so motherfuckers can't pinpoint where you was at. Like, <laughs> oh wow, fucking, fucking idiots. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, that that that's what I'm saying. If you're gonna do a crime and you are and you a prominent celebrity, you need to. First of all, if you're a celebrity, you need to send ten bands, t ten bands to beat me up. Why why I'm so important? Why I'm so important that you gotta come to my door your yourself and try to and, and do what you did like mm. a dumbass. Mm. That's dumb. I would if, if I had bread, I'd send my little my little nephew, my little cousin over to your house or something. If, like that's that's what a smart person would do. Why you bring yourself over there? So you put your own self in this predicament. You feel me? If you if you ain't come to my house, you if you you could have sent you could have just sent them two niggas or, or something. Why you bring, you brought yourself? You put yourself in this predicament, little nigga. Well, you gonna you want to be that gangster? You want to be that gangster, huh? Then, well, shit, this the repercussion. I ain't never claimed to be gangster. You did. Mm. I ain't claiming to be gangster. I ain't never said that, nigga. I play the piano. The fuck, are you talking about? So I don't care, nigga. I, I I I give zero fucks about a code of conduct, nothing. I don't snitch on niggas, but this ain't fucking snitching, nigga. This ain't fucking snitching. Okay. This is not snitching. Hey Ramsey, so, what 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 celebrity figures reached out to you since this incident happened via Instagram, via phone, via Facebook? Who reached out to you? It's a lot of people reaching out to me, whether it was positive or negative. Chop, I see Chop talking. You know, talk. I mean. Talking shit. Uh, 808 Mafia Sizzle reached out to me. Um, 
obviously, you know, me being that black and King Yellow. You know what's crazy? Being that black and King Yellow, they they just left my house. And I'm talking about two hours before the incident. Whoa, whoa. What if they was there? Wow. Two hours before the incident. Two hours before the incident. They was just in my crib with dumb 30s. Damn. You know what I'm saying? With, you know what I'm saying? So, but they just had just went to Vegas, and I was supposed to go with them, but I ended up going. So I come back to the crib, and that you know that's what it was. But big, if you could go back and look, me and Billion Black and Yellow, they've been driving my BMW. I've been letting them do everything, you know. So they've been at my house in Cali for the last, you know what I'm saying? So if they was there, while Sosa was there, what you think would happen? I don't know. Okay. I, I don't. I don't know. I. I. I don't want. I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna even speculate on that. You okay. Know what I'm I don't know. I don't know, but. Like I said, man, I just, uh, wow. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm just, I'm fucked up with how this generation thinks. Not, and it, and it's not, it's not everybody, though. I mean, I'm glad it's not everybody, because I'm looking at my comments, and it's a lot of smart motherfuckers commenting, like, you know what I'm saying? Like what I just posted on my Instagram right now, you know? But uh, other than that, I'm, I'm living, man. I'm alive. I'm alive that's right a, now. That's a blessing, brother, man. That's a blessing, man. I'm glad you're alive. I'm glad you're doing well. I mean, I just hope, hopefully, as two wealthy individuals coming from the city of Chicago, I hope you and Sosa, Tato, and anybody else with the Glow Gang situation can put y'all situ y'all 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 ties to the side and talk this shit out. You know what I'm saying? But he's not that type of person. You know, you uh, you know, you gotta understand, like, um, how do I say this without being? He's retarded. Whoa. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. He, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I want to put that, that. That's the only way I could put it. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, he's not a smart. You know how, how me and you are having a, a, a conscious conversation right now? Yes. He's not capable of that. He, this is, he, 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 he don't think like me and you think like. If he did, we wouldn't even be having this conversation right now. You gotta understand that. You understand? Or no, you don't get what I'm saying. No, I understand. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I understand what you're saying, but maybe his his me emotions just you know what I'm saying was overreacting. His adrenaline was rushing, but I just uh, nah because he don't even fuck with Uncle Ro. Uncle Ro, you know it, it. The story is that Uncle Ro stole money. That's what he preached. Uncle Ro stole money for him. That's why he cut. That's why he uh. You know, cut him out of Glow Gang or Roo Ra, wah, wah, wah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, that's the story. So, I mean, it's, it's, it, he wanted to do that to me. Okay. He been wanted to do, he been wanted to do that to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know why. Even when I was in Dubai, when, when I was in Dubai with Soldier Boy, he calling Uncle Ro. What's up with Ramsey? We're, we're call, you know, calling, asking what's up with me. I don't know. He just always, he, 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 he wanted to do that to me. You know what I'm saying? So, he, that's cool. You 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 did it, but now you got to do you got to you got to face the repercussions because you're a mil you're a millionaire. So you got out of pocket, no pocket. You did what I'm saying, and that's straight talk. Wow, he got out of pocket. Now you got to get in his pocket. Hey Ramsey, man, could you please before we got it? Could you please, man? Shout out Zach TV One for getting this exclusive, man. But for anybody else, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Shout out Zach TV, man. You know Ramsey the Great. I'm still here. I'm still alive, man. All you bitch ass, dumb ass, fan ass, white boy from Kentucky ass niggas, man. You niggas, you niggas, you niggas, you niggas. You niggas will never understand. Your favorite rapper is living a lie. Your fa you don't even know. You don't even know. Your favorite rappers don't even turn up for their dead homies, man. So, uh, wow. uh, uh, hey, man, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm just doing me right now. We gonna, we gonna see what happens. Once this reached the news, once this reached the, you know, we're going to let this progress. We're going to see, we're going to see what happens because now it's past the point where somebody is, listen, if somebody, if I die tomorrow, we know what happened. Some, they going to jail. So I, I if I die tomorrow, we, we know. So you got to be the stupid nigga now to kill me. It, it's just, uh, it's everywhere. It's on, it's, it's everywhere. If you, if you, it's, if I die tomorrow, if I get shot tomorrow, we already know it is. So it's past that point. Niggas can't kill me no more. They should have killed me in my room. Wow. It can't, it, it, it's done. You can't kill me anymore. It's all over the internet. I got 2,000 comments on my page. I'm on fucking world star on everything. So it's over with. You know what I'm saying? So you you, 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 you can't kill me. You got to come to court or you got to settle. Is it, is, that's it. And, uh, and you could talk to, hey, man, you could talk to my lawyer about that, P. You dig what I'm saying, man? Wow, man, that's 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 crazy, man. Ramsey, I'm all the way in Philly right now, man. I'm out here working. You all the way in Cali, man. I just hate this situation had to happen like this, man. Hopefully, we can do an interview face to face, man, on different terms, though. Yeah, 
Definitely, definitely. I love to do an interview with you, bro. Like we, we got to I, 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 if I do an interview though, I'm a, I'm gonna do a different interview, bro. Because, like, if y'all didn't notice, Ramsey the Great ain't been producing music lately, and that's not because of I'm not getting offered. That's not because people aren't asking me to send it. That's not that's not the reason, bro. The reason is my homie Chris Mo and my little cousin Willie got shot in a motherfucking head. Kill. Because of some music shit. Probably some music that I done produced. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I had to sit back and realize that. Motherfuckers got a voice, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So we keep perpetuating this this, this image of, uh, of going around and killing everybody, mate. That shit ain't cool, bro. That shit ain't cool. And I don't, and that, I don't support that. I don't support that at all. You know what I'm saying? So that that's probably why you ain't seen, you know, Ramsey the Great producing all type of this type of music, this type of music, because I, I did, I done has family members, brothers, all type of shit. Die from this shit, man. I'm not with this shit. Especially now that I see the niggas who started it ain't even living like that, man. So that's what I would want to say to everybody who listening, man. Just hey, wake, hey. wake up. This ain't a fantasy world, bro. Wake up. Y'all niggas need to wake up, man. So kids are in the city of Chicago is down over a war and Sosa is in the hills of Hollywood living life. That's what I'm saying. Wow. I mean, or I'm lying. Or I'm lying, Zach. Man, I'm... That, that's... That is, it, it's crazy, man. That's crazy. I'm out... <laughs> see, I never... Not, I've never been in Cali, like, man. You know, every day talking about BDGD, uh, BDJ, two people smoking too good. People ain't dying every day over that. Yeah, kids is dying. That's a fact. And who started that? Wow. Self-explanatory. Wow, man. This is wow, wow. So, 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 so you can't say because you, you, you just a, uh, you, you, you the uh, what they call that? The litigate, lit, the litigate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, the I mediator, mean, the journalism. I'm a journalist. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're not biased. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just letting you know. You know what I'm saying? Listen, you can hear how I talk. I'm an educated person. You feel me? Uh-huh. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm Hello? Hello? Are you there? Uh, hello? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, hey, hey Zach TV, yeah. So what I was what was I saying? I was just saying about the image that's being perpetuated, man. I'm a I'm a I'm I'm an educated person. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think that I've ever ever portrayed that I that I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a gangster, or that I'm this, or that I'm yeah. this. I might, you know, I have, I have, I have a gun. I might put it on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? But I, I don't think I ever portrayed that. So it's just like, you know. Wow. Now I totally understand, man, Ramsey. Once again, I really appreciate you, man. I hope this situation get fixed, man, as quick as possible. And I wish you you the best of luck with your career, man. I appreciate you, man, for giving me this interview live from Philly, Zach TV, Ramsey the Great, baby. Hey, man. All right. Everybody stay up, man. My black brothers and sisters, man. One love. One love, brother. One.